Update on my vermiculture. Um, I built this box oh, three and a half months ago, and I filled it with separated manure. And then I added two five-gallon pails of uh, compost with, with uh, red worms in it. And they've been doing their thing on this for the last three and a half months. And this is pretty much, this is what I started with. This is actually, I was digging through and I found um, one section of raw manure that had, it was kind of on the bottom. You can see it's yellow and hay and all sorts of stuff in it. See some worms in there, eating away at it. That was a good look at it. That's pretty much what it started out as. Then it gets down to this stage where the worms are eaten. And then the final stage, what I've got 99% of now, is this. It's fine, silky. loaded with worms it's still got some fiber to it it's almost like a uh, a real fine peat moss and as you can see there's lots and lots of worms there's probably you know as I'm going through this bin there's more little ones little worms and there are big ones. That's when I was digging through here you can see them all down in here. And the whole thing is kind of moving around. And into this bin I put not only this manure which is another small piece of it left. Here you can see some of the hay and stuff. It's, this is actually a really good representation of what went into it initially. What it is is the uh, well, there's a potato I grew in here. I grew a bunch of potatoes in here too. I got probably, as, it's, as the worms were composting this down, I threw uh, a couple of budded out potatoes I had. And I got probably a uh, good 10 pounds of potatoes out of here. Just off of like three buds or four buds. So, and the potatoes are awesome. Uh, let's see, what else? See, here you can see, well, here you can see all the worms. Now I'm going to put it up for sale on eBay. See if anybody wants to buy some of it. And if they don't, and this will be my, my there, there's, there we go. There's a good representation of what I was looking for. That was just one clump. That's actually, you know, a clump of the, uh, of the separated manure. And again, the separated manure, what that basic, what that is, is um, I got a friend who has a farm, a, huge, a big farm, and uh, all the manure from all the barns ends up in a, one of those big holding ponds. And uh, they draw off the liquid and spread the liquid on their fields. And then what's left in the bottom is the solid waste. And that's this stuff, you know, that yellow stuff I was showing you earlier. And when I get it, when I actually get the stuff, it's kind of, it's really pretty light and fluffy. It's, it's almost, it's like kind of like peat moss itself, except it's yellow and stinks like manure. Um, fill the bin up and dumped a bunch of worms in here and I keep it wet. Got to keep it good and moist and uh, turn it often for the first couple weeks. Because um, it does, since it is, you know, manure and it, it starts to decompose, it, it generates a lot of heat. So you got to keep the heat down by keeping it wet. And the worms just eat their way through it and turn it into black gold for me. So, and we grew our uh, vegetables this year in it. And let me tell you, our vegetables did, our, started all our veggies in it. And uh, it did phenomenal. My tomato plants outside, I got my tomato plants and I grew tomatillas. And my tomatoes and tomatillas are, they're six feet tall. 
plants are six feet tall right now and they're still growing so and they're I don't think I've ever had tomato plants so loaded down with tomatoes um, I may be selling tomatoes on eBay later on because I can't eat them all so but this is it